none of them, mark my words, none of them needed bypass surgery. So he devised a study to show how interesting it is. The fact is, your own body is built to last when it is first built and sent here. The maker, whoever he is, if you believe in God, you call it God. If you believe in nature, you call it nature. Whoever made it, made it in such a way that put a repair system also inside. You know, many garages have a repair system, repair the shed. So that's called the immune system. And the immune system is ingrained, inculcated into the body and inbuilt in the body so that whatever happens, the immune system will heal. Now, even if a surgeon does an operation, healing is done by the immune system. You see that? My former chief in Harvard, who is a Nobel laureate, did a very interesting study when I was a student there in the 90s. He had, we had about 600 patients sent up for bypass surgery from various doctors in the Massachusetts area. And he had a team of scientists and they found none of them, none of them, mark my words, none of them needed bypass surgery. So he devised a study to show how interesting it is. So at random, he had three theaters, theater A, theater C. In theater A, he said, you send the patient in, simply send the patient in, don't tell anything. You anesthetize the patient and operate, and then send him out. Theater B, you send the patient in, you anesthetize the patient, make him lie down, sleep for one hour, two hours, wake him up, and when he wakes up, tell him he is fine, and send him away. Theater number three, don't do nothing, but when he comes, you say, your heart is fine, and send him away. And now, after 10 years, looking back, theater three, everybody is fine. Theater B, most of them are fine. Theater A, half of them are dead. The other half are in the, in still, you know, having suffering from drugs and various other things. So, what is important is your mind. If you believe you are fine, you are fine. And your body heals so beautifully. And it does it himself. You see, you have a cut. You just watch the cut. Within two or three days, the cut starts getting healed. And the fourth or fifth day, the skin completely heals. Fifth or sixth day, the, the debris comes out. And the seventh or eighth day, you don't even see the scar. All this is because the body has got a mechanism which corrects itself. But you can spoil that mechanism. Ayurveda is all about keeping the immune system intact. That's what's called panchakarma in Ayurveda, which keeps the immune system alert and up and working all the time. And periodic panchakarma gives you a boost to your immune system. And when the immune system is fine, you are fine. When the immune system is not fine, you are not fine. But Western medicine doesn't believe in that because they want to have a molecule. Now recently two scientists, Japanese scientists, one Am Japanese and one American scientist, they found out how the immune system cells work with the body cells when they need it. They showed that they have a hand, they shake hands and hug each other. And that can be made into a tablet or a molecule. So immediately, the drug companies caught hold of that man and made him get the Nobel Prize. You know, Nobel Prize you think is all because of very nice things. No, Nobel Prize is also money. The drug companies influence most of the Nobel Prizes and the Nobel Prize are given by the drug company influence. So this man immediately gets a Nobel Prize. There is nothing new thought. Immune system is an old hat. And Ayurveda also knew about it. Nobody bothered. Now that they can mo make a molecule out of it, Thus, they have made into a made a big thing and given him a Nobel Prize. Now, you probably have heard about a disease called AIDS, right? How many of you have heard about AIDS? Good. Everybody has heard. What is the cause of AIDS? Yes? 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 Immune system. Why? Why? Of course, AIDS means immune system, acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Why is the immune system failing? We have made a connection. We said it's due to HIV virus, right? You have heard of that? But there are two people, no, one Nobel laureate and a professor of microbiology have written a book. His name is Peter Duisberg. He has written a book called Inventing the AIDS Virus. What's the book's name? Inventing the AIDS Virus, in which Carrie Mullis, who is the other co-author, and Carrie is a Nobel laureate, biochemist. He has written, Peter and I don't know what causes AIDS, but Peter and I know one thing for certain, and that is HIV virus does not cause AIDS. 
quote unquote. Who said that? Carrie Mullis. Who is he? A Nobel laureate. Now that, instead of that, in spite of that, the government and the hospital doctors give you treatment for HIV virus. There are prostitutes in, in San Francisco who were HIV positive in 1981, still alive and healthy and kicking. And there, nothing has happened to them. But still we say AIDS is due to HIV virus. We don't know what AIDS is due to, but 